What's up, everybody? That's another hip hop today with me, Canary Valance, man. Yeah, so we got some things going on. Hope everybody had a nice Christmas. Their holidays was fun. They got to kick it with their kids or their nieces and nephews or just really family in general. Hopefully it was good for you guys. But let's get straight into some hip hop. So starting off with Jesse Reyes, she just dropped a new song for uh, called Mary Nothing. Pretty much down in Christmas. She said, this December sucks while you're out here messing around with these sluts. <laughs> Definitely love uh, Jessie Rhea. She's so creative, and I love her music. Um, and it's good to like hear some new, you know, Christmas songs. I ain't gonna flex with y'all, man. I got I get kind of tired of the whole uh, Mariah every single year. So I've been listening to that for like thirty years now. But um, yeah, so that's pretty good that she came out with a new one. Definitely like that. And like I said on the podcast a few weeks ago, the Sierra one. Those two are dope. They should definitely put those in rotation coming up. But, yeah, let's uh, move on to Quando Rondo. It says, Quando Rondo spent 40 k on his girl for Christmas, and she didn't get him anything. Man. Bro, that's what's wrong with you rich guys, man. That's not how you're supposed to do it. Quando, what you're supposed to do, you were supposed to take her with you. And spend the forty thousand dollars on yourself, and then she would have it in her mind, man. Hopefully one day he'll bring me the icebox and spend forty thousand on me. And only when she proves herself that she's down to help you with your mental health and your emotional health and all that, that's when you spend money on her. Like, bro, I can't think of no one outside of my parents that I would spend forty thousand dollars on. This is crazy. And then his friends got on him. He said, I I bought this chick a $40,000 chain. His friend said, why did you do that when I told you not to? <laughs> See, that's a good friend, though, man. Now, you guys got to, you know, that transactional love is coming to a close. Y'all don't have to switch that up. Like, I get it, like, back in the day. That's how the that's how a lot of guys told you to kind of leave with your wallet. But simping ain't good for you, my friend. As you see, it just makes them more entitled. All right, moving on. Somebody breaking trends, talking about Drake. So Drake responds to TikToker who claims he flew her out, then kicked her out after they allegedly after. He allegedly caught her taking pictures of him. So Drake responded, never met, never spoke, never flew. I hope people start doing more with their lives, with the one life we are given. This shit's sad out here. <laughs> yeah, man, this shit's sad out here. I'm glad to see that uh, a lot of the older guys are starting to kind of like put women in their place, like... Don't be lying on my name. Back in the day, you get in trouble for lying on lying on who you've been with. That caused a real problem between guys and girls. It, it didn't even matter. But yeah, so he said, I never, I don't know this chick. She out here lying. Why are you out here lying? Let's see, what else we got going on today? Lil Wayne became a professional pro skater. Y'all out here watching Lil Wayne pro skating? That's hilarious. <sighs> this one is crazy to me, guys. So it says Lil Nas X reveals he has a son. So I'm not the sharpest person out here, but I thought Lil Nas X was gay. Last time I checked, two men can't have a baby. So, was he lying about this? What I don't, I don't get where, when this happened, how this happened. I mean, I I know how it happened, but like, when did this happen? 
he was supposed to, you know, only be with men. Uh, apparently, he likes women, too. But, yeah, you know what? Congratulations to him on the new child. And I guess he's just rebranding his image. <laughs> it says, Hooters shutting down and rebranding certain locations after new studies show that millennials aren't that into boobs. Damn, y'all out here? Y'all don't like boobs no more? Last time I heard about Hooters, they were saying that they were going to like start hiring bigger women and stuff. So, I don't know. I guess people didn't like that. Let's see what else, what other topics we got going on today. Mm. Let's see. We got young Jock shaved his head bald. Oh yeah, so uh I guess gotta speak on that. Tory Lanes and um Meg the Stallion, you know, it was a little, a little surprising. I, I wasn't expecting him to get locked up. You know, I kind of felt like Megan was lying, but you know, maybe at the beginning she lied to protect him, and then he started clout chasing off of it. These are some of those things. But even during the case, like uh, Tory not taking the stand, I think that was a bad idea on his part. You know, because now he's facing what, like 23 years, they said. So, you know, best of luck to him, but he definitely should have went up there and, you know, pleaded his innocence if he didn't do anything. We had a uh, Janae Iko's daddy had a newborn child at 78. What y'all think about that, man? That's kind of crazy. Janae Iko, daddy, a city boy. Or city grandpa. Like, that's crazy. At 78, that means that... Damn, he'd be 90. He'd be in his 90s. This kid turned 18. I don't think you... Uh, I don't know. I don't want to say nothing bad. But, yeah. You know, congratulations on that, I guess. It does seem a little selfish, though. But congratulations. And no lead chopper surprises his fans at the at the hospital and brings them a gift. He brought them a PS5, an iPhone 14, an iPad, flat screen TV, and more. Damn. And L.E. Chopper, a good dude. <clears throat> That's pretty good at him. Said Nick Cannon traveled all over Christmas to see all 11 of his kids. Man, I couldn't even imagine making 11 stops. Like, going house to house. Does he have like 11 different baby mamas or does he have like... I guess uh, Mariah has like two kids. But still, it's so... That's so much to deal with. Oh yeah, we had some more new music from um, 21 Savage in the Weekend called Creep. I really like that song. Um, I don't know whose project it's off of, but you know, I definitely like that song. I heard it earlier today and that was a pretty cool that was a pretty cool um, combination. I would have never ever thought of those two working together in a million years. So, you know, that was nice to see or nice to hear. And really, guys, I think that's about it on hip hop today. Really not too much is going on. A lot of the rappers are just chilling with their families. So... Ain't too much going on in hip hop like that, like that. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what y'all think. Um, that's another one with me. 
Canary Valence. Peace.